everyone! In this video we're going to talk about how to clean the mouthpiece of the clarinet. Now we've gone over how to swab the mouthpiece in the video about swabbing the clarinet, and we'll review that method here as well. But I wanted to give you an extra sort of deep cleaning process that I like to use with my mouthpiece. I do this every four or five months or so, and it really just gets all the gunk and all the buildup out of the mouthpiece that we sometimes can't get with swabbing alone. So in order to start this, we're going to need a few tools. The first is we'll need a few cotton swabs. We use these in the clarinet cleaning video as well. We'll also need about a half a cup of just room temperature water. We'll need some white vinegar. You can find this at grocery stores, all kinds of places these days. And just a bowl to put it all in. I like to do this on a towel as well, just so I don't spill any water anywhere. Uh, you're also gonna need a, a reed. This is just an old reed that I don't really play on very much. We're gonna use this to clean the mouthpiece as well. So first step, let's take our mouthpiece and let's review the swabbing technique for swabbing your mouthpiece. And this swabbing your mouthpiece is something that should happen every time you play or at least every other time that you play. So remember, we're going to take part of our swab and we're going to twist it into a little tail and then gently slide that into the mouthpiece just until it comes out on the other end. So you just give a little pull here, a little pull here, and that's all you need to do. So if you do that regularly, you're already in great shape. So now let's go over the deep clean method of cleaning the mouthpiece. So first we're going to take our cup of water, or half a cup of water, and you're going to pour that into the bowl. I like to leave a little bit in the measuring cup because we're going to need just a little bit of plain water at the very end. So pour almost all of it in there. Then we're going to take our distilled white vinegar and you're going to add two tablespoons to the half cup of water. Okay, This is the cooking and baking part of the video. All right, so there's just about two tablespoons of vinegar. Just kind of give that a stir. So the vinegar is going to help us break down all the stuff that builds up on the mouthpiece. As you're playing the clarinet, you're going to have bits of dead skin that gets into the mouthpiece, um, sometimes calcium buildup from your teeth. Uh, if you don't brush your teeth before you play, you might have bits of food in there. Uh, so we really need to get all of that, all of that stuff out. So I went ahead and just slid my mouthpiece out of the ligature, so we just have the mouthpiece by itself. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my old reed that I have and using the heel of the reed, that's the square part of the reed, I'm just going to gently scrape around the edges here. I have a mouthpiece patch on my mouthpiece. Uh, you may or may not have that as well, so I like to just kind of scrape along. And what that's going to do is it's going to loosen up some of the particles uh, that kind of get stuck around the mouthpiece. So you don't have to get this all the way off. It's a good, good trick just to sort of loosen things up. You don't want to use anything harder than a reed. You don't want to get in there with a knife or anything sharp because that could really scratch up the mouthpiece and really damage it. But the back of a reed is just, just the right strength to kind of scrape some of that off. So you can also check the sides as well. Sometimes the sides of the mouthpiece get a little build up. You can use the side of the reed there just to kind of scrape some of that off. So that loosens everything, kind of gives us, gives us a nice canvas to start working on the mouthpiece. All right, so after that step, you're going to take one of your cotton swabs and dip it into your water and vinegar mixture. And you're just going to start gently swabbing the outside edges of the mouthpiece all around the opening, all around the, the opening called the facing of the mouthpiece. And so as we're doing this, the acid in the vinegar is going to help break down even more of the stuff that kind of builds up on there. Uh, and that's going to help get, get this really nice and clean. You don't need too much vinegar, just, just like we did, just about two tablespoons. And that's going to help us really clean everything out. So you're going to want to go all the way around the top here, if you have a mouthpiece patch, all the way around there. All around the opening here of the mouthpiece. And then when it's looking like there's stuff on the cotton swab, you just dip the other end in. And then you can go all the way inside the mouthpiece. That's a really good one to, to do, to go all the way inside the mouthpiece through the opening. And then I also like to flip it around and go through the round opening where the cork is. Just swirl my cotton swab around there. And you just make sure you're really getting all the way in there. And then my cotton swab's about done, so I'm just going to get another cotton swab. You shouldn't need more than maybe five or six cotton swabs to do this process. Um, so you shouldn't go, have to go through a whole box or anything. It should just be maybe what you have in your, in your medicine cabinet at home. So, 
That's basically it. We just wiped it around with our water and vinegar mixture and that's loosened up all of the extra stuff that's on the mouthpiece. Now, as the final step, remember we left a little bit of water in the measuring cup. So I like to take a, a fresh cotton swab, dip that in just the clean water, and then just go over all of that again just to make sure we don't have too much of a vinegary taste when we go to play the clarinet. You don't want to leave the vinegar sitting on the clarinet or on the mouthpiece very long, so this little extra step just helps clean it a little bit and get that vinegar, get that vinegar cleared up. So once you've done all of that, find a nice safe place for your mouthpiece to sit and just let it air dry. You don't want to put it back in the case because again, we don't want to keep moisture trapped in the clarinet case. So just leaving it out in a safe place where it's not going to get knocked over by a sibling or a pet or a parent. Um, so you want to make sure it just stays nice and protected, but it has some room to air out and dry out. So that's all you really need to clean out your mouthpiece. That's a, it's a great process to do, again, once every four or five months or so, just to kind of really make sure your instrument's really clean and working properly. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my website, www.mirandaclarinet.com. Thank you.